Hey everybody, I just got back to Hong Kong from Paris. I have on me here the Huawei P30 Pro with the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and the iPhone XS Max. So the Huawei P30 Pro, as you already know, the biggest selling point of this phone, man, these phones are just so damn slippery. So I'm trying to shoot like a cool video of all these phones propped up and I'm telling you, it is so tough to shoot these type of shots by myself because the phones are always falling over because it's so slippery. So anyway, the Huawei P30 Pro, the biggest selling point of this phone is this telephoto lens here, which is not a usual telephoto lens. As you can see, the shape of it, it's a little bit weird. It's like square. This That's because this is a new design by Huawei. It's a periscope style lens. What it does is the sensor inside is basically further back deeper into the phone so then when you pull image information in it then gets reflected back through a series of mirrors into an image sensor that is perpendicular to the rest of the camera module so basically this new lens design allows the huawei p30 pro to basically take better zoom photos than any other phone before it you can capture photos at five times zoom that is lossless and ten times zoom that is almost lossless too. So Huawei calls it in hybrid zoom. And in my first hands-on video, I already showed some samples that pretty much proved that the P30 Pro can do better 10 times zoom than these other two phones. But of course, after I got the phone full time, I went out and shot a bunch more photos. So initially I wanted to do this video live in Paris, but it was just too tough to shoot by myself in a major tourist area in a foreign country so i figure i'm gonna come back to hong kong and finish the video here so the first things first you'll see that the camera interface the huawei p30 pro obviously is designed for 10 times zoom so the interface is a lot easier to get to 10 times zoom you just have to tap this button twice and you'll be at 10 times whereas with the iphone and the samsung galaxy s10 plus you have to pinch like five six times to get to 10 times zoom now on top of that, I noticed that the P30 Pro, when you're in 10 times zoom, the footage actually stays relatively still. That's because Huawei uses digital stabilization they call AIS. It's like AI stabilization that helps keep the footage a little bit more steady. If you look at the same 10 times zoom footage on the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and iPhone XS Max, like right now, I haven't even begun shooting the photos yet. I'm just panning the camera around and you see that the footage is a little bit jerkier, a little bit shakier. And after I've captured the photos, even right away on the phone, you can see that the P30 Pro's image is just cleaner, it's sharper, it's more detailed. But then after I take it back home and blow it up on the computer, then you see the big difference. So basically, long story short, the Huawei P30 Pro's periscope telephoto lens is legit and it completely kicks the butts of the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and the iPhone XS Max and the Huawei Mate 20 Pro 2 while we're at it in 10 times zoom. So I'll just show you more photos here and just let them do the talking. Now the Huawei P30 Pro can also shoot 10 times zoom video. Now it's just about impossible to get a steady shot when you're doing this, but it could be useful if you just want to get close to something you're trying to shoot. Now the P30 Pro can also do digital zoom up to 50 times, 50x. Now obviously at this level of zoom, photo quality is going to take a big hit, but just the fact that you can zoom in that close, it's pretty damn cool. Check out these photo samples here. So the orange circled part is where I zoomed in. So you know photo quality isn't the greatest, but it's usable. It, it could help you if you need to identify something and you can't get closer. Now, I said this in the earlier video, I wanna make clear. This phone's gonna open up the floodgates to a lot of pervy ass dudes to creep on girls from across the street or on the train or at the beach. Please don't do that. Please be respectful of other people. Only shoot photos of buildings, cats and dogs and like your mom, your dad, your friends, whatever. Don't shoot pictures of girls who don't know your ass. Don't be creepy like that. Yo, I just want to clarify one more thing. So I want to emphasize that 
the results I showed earlier, it's only on zooming capability. So the P30 Pro is better, much better than the iPhone XS Max and the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus in zooming. That's one aspect of mobile photography. There are many other aspects. So by no means am I saying the P30 Pro, it's a flat out better camera than the iPhone XS or the Galaxy S10 Plus. To be honest, I think it's probably gonna be very close because I've used the P30 Pro heavily for the last 24 hours and I can say now the video capabilities will probably fall short again. This phone, I'm using the P30 Pro right now, cannot shoot 4K 60. And from what I've seen so far, 4K 30 videos also have that same micro jitteriness as before. The iPhone XS Max, I'm pretty sure is gonna be a better video camera. So it really depends on what you want. If you like zooming on things, the P30 Pro is the king. You want to take low life photography, the P30 Pro will probably beat everybody else's too. But there's a lot more to, you know, evaluating a smartphone camera than just those things. So please don't take this video as like an end all be all. Oh, Huawei is just much, much better than Samsung and Apple. That's not what I'm trying to say. I have to clarify this because every time I do one of these comparison videos, I have angry fans coming in my comments saying, oh, you're paid by Apple or you're paid by Samsung or you're paid by Huawei. Like, get the hell out of here, man. None of these companies pay me shit, okay? I just tell it like it is. I'm honest in all my videos. Go through my video history. I criticize phones that deserves to be criticized and I compliment them in areas that deserves to be complimented. I keep it fair at all times. I mean, I'm a big fan of LG phones though. I gotta admit that. But even then, I'll, I'm not gonna just blindly praise LG for something that they don't deserve it, you know? So. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.